Welcome. You are watching Line Screw One. Well, hello, tubers. Hope you're doing well wherever you are in this crazy YouTube universe. Today, I am coming to you from Cancun, Mexico, as the sun slowly fades here. And I figured I would have to do this video because it's so, it's so funny when you go on the internet or vlogs and you read about the dangers of Mexico. Okay, okay. <laughs> sure, there are some dangerous areas. Just like pick another country. I can show you dangerous areas of Paris, okay? I can show you dangerous areas in the United Kingdom. I can show you dangerous areas, especially in Canada and the United States. Okay, they're just dangerous areas. Unless you live in a very, very uh, prosperous or safe, uh, tiny country like, I don't know, like Luxembourg or something like that, or Vatican City, you know, there's, or Monaco. Really, you know, there's dangerous areas everywhere. But the thing you gotta keep in mind that Cancun is a designed Mexican community. It's it's not real. It, it's Mexico for Americans. It, it, it is. It, it's it's fake. It's like it's like saying Disneyland is represents America. No, it's a synthetic version. Okay, <laughs> that's just what it is. And anybody who says oh Cancun's dangerous, and they're gonna say oh there was like there was four people that uh, had, had X Y and Z happen to them last year. Oh yeah, well that happens everywhere. Come on. Come on, you've you been to the bad areas of Chicago lately? <laughs> like, come on, relax. Uh, but really, you know, with the time I've, I've, I've spent in Cancun, and I've been here before, you know, the high-end shopping malls, the uh, high-end eateries, or even chain brand uh, restaurants, they're all over the place here. And it's, it, it's not for the average Mexican to use those. Uh, and shop at those facilities because a lot of Mexicans do not have uh, substantial means. Now there's still a lot of affluent people who, uh, who are Mexican and of course they travel abroad and shop but I guess it's uh, nice to have the high-end retail here but it's so synthetic and not real Mexico. In fact when they designed Cancun you know around late 60s early 70s this was a small fishing village with very few people living here. Now, the, the regional metropolitan area, it's it's close to a million people. And if you add the, the tourists, it, it, it's probably at any given time during the peak tourist season, there could be 1.4 million people here. So, but it's not real Mexico, and it's ridiculously safe, except for, and I'm gonna tell you what the dangerous part of Mexico is, especially, here in Cancun, and I think that it goes uh, without saying that this is kind of a similar danger almost anywhere you are in the world, but the biggest danger is traffic. Your odds of having a traffic accident either as a pedestrian or somebody on a scooter or in a car, it, it's greater because the, the infrastructure isn't as nice, you know, they got a lot of uneven pavement and, uh, you know, potholes, things like that. Because, you know, you, you see a lot of these neighborhoods when you walk around, especially where you really notice the the, the, uh, the condition of the infrastructure where they, they, they build an area, but they don't have the money to maintain it. So they, they had the money to develop a few blocks and put the sidewalks in, and, and then over time it, it deteriorates because you're in the tropics. So it's constant rain and erosion and uh, heat, um, heat stress, fractures for the concrete. And, and the cement so yeah it's like playing Frogger with certain areas of Cancun crossing the road because these people ain't gonna stop for you you're on your own you can win an incredible Darwin Award here <laughs> if you do something stupid as a pedestrian or somebody driving a, a rental car or on your scooter you could pay with your life or a serious injury yeah you, you can because that's the way it is it's it's not like, uh, you know, Canada, the U.S. and parts of Europe where, you know, you're going to sue, you're going to hold somebody accountable. No! Here, tons of people don't even have insurance. <laughs> they don't have health insurance, car insurance, liability insurance, you know. 
in the rest of uh, you know the, the developed world, that's what people do is they have insurance. Here, it's not as common. People have a lot less meats, so you're on your own. And don't expect that if you <laughs> trip off the curb, you're gonna gonna sue this, the, the the city of Cancun and get some money like like they do in, in the rest of North America. No, yeah, good luck with that. Good luck. You're on your own. Take care of yourself. Be sensible and don't have wobbly pops. Look, I love the wobbly pops. You know, I'm a drinker, but you know, you you have the cocktails after you're finished driving. Oh, here's the, the police. <laughs> Speaking of police, the, the weirdest thing, anybody that's spent time in Mexico will realize this. The police are constantly driving around with their flashing lights on. They don't have the sirens on, unless they're going to a call. But it's, just, it's the craziest thing. I, I guess it's a, a deterrence, so that the uh, low-level petty thieves, they, they see the cops, and they see the flashing light, and they go, oh, okay, yeah, I can't, I can't do that pickpocket right now. I gotta wait, gotta wait a minute until the police drive away. <laughs> this is very peculiar, but they have a lot of police, like a ton. You know, this place is is heavily policed, and it should be. That's why it's so safe. It's not like the areas where the cartel is that very few tourists go. Where yeah, you're 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 you got no reason to be there as a tourist. So my tip, if you're going to come here, you know, stay at a reasonable place, at least a four star. Don't get involved with stupid activities. Don't be indulging with illegal substances. Don't be, you know, uh, falling prey to, um, let's call it sins of the flesh, because there are, uh, how can we say it, working ladies here. If you do that, you're asking to get drugged or assaulted or robbed. You're going to wake up with... <laughs> And your, your laptop wallet and credit cards and money's gone. So don't do that. Don't be stupid. And if you come down here and you know you, you hear of things like that happening to people, well, well, what were you thinking? Don't do that. And and keep away from that nose candy. I mean, really, it's funny you have to tell people this stuff because you know some people they just can't use common sense and they wonder why they get into trouble. But, you know, it's it's ridiculously safe here. You know, at first, when I was uh, walking around, I'd go, yeah, you know, maybe I'll uh, avoid the alleyways and the back quick ways, you know, just maybe it's less safe, you know, just trying to be sensible. And I'd go, nah, it's ridiculous. I ain't walking an extra five blocks. <laughs> I'm, I'm walking where the locals are. You know, I'm walking through parks where the locals are, people walking their dogs, uh, people just doing their things. And, and Mexican people, they're just like, anybody else they're, they're they want opportunity they want an opportunity to make some money and raise their families and do their thing and families are very important here in Latin America that's something that I think the rest of North America can really learn from um, family connections family bonds um, children it's really held to a higher level than uh, than we do in the rest of North America and good for them good for them you know, they're, they're not doing everything wrong um, I mean, they got challenges. It's it's a tricky part of the world in terms of the weather. And, um, it's you know just looking off the balcony. I'm you know watching birds. The only fresh water supply around here is like the the water coming off the uh, the myriad air conditioning systems, which are constantly running. And that's probably not cheap to run air conditioning 24/7 for you know most of the year. So. But anyway, for anybody who's thinking, oh, it's too dangerous to go to Cancun, come on, Cancun is Mexico for Americans. Yeah. Oh boy, the, the high-end shopping is so scary. Woo! The malls are just terrifying. Woo! Gee, and that fine, exquisite Mexican dining or dining of any kind. You, you want to find a Mongolian grill or an Italian restaurant? You can find it here. You want a steakhouse? You can find it here. It's all here, and a lot of those celebrity chefs even have their damn restaurants here, or they're licensed here, so come on. It's just who if anybody tells you. And oh, don't forget, anecdotal uh, evidence is really the worst evidence where you got, oh, my cousin went there in 1994, and, yeah, somebody stole from his safe and uh, his car was broken into and blah blah blah. Yeah, that, that can happen anywhere. It can happen in Vancouver. Come on, it can happen in Beverly Hills. So, <laughs> like, relax. 
But the hype in terms of street crime, nah. Don't worry about it. But you use your common sense. Probably don't go out walking around at 3 in the morning. Probably not a good idea. But relax. Use your common sense. Be sober when you're driving. And uh, just enjoy it. This isn't real Mexico. It's Cancun. It didn't even exist 55 years ago. Okay? So relax. But if you want the excitement, oh, you can go somewhere else in Mexico. Or if you want to look for trouble here in Cancun, you will find it. I guarantee it if you're that determined. But as for me, I'm just one of the tens of millions of people who have come to Cancun this year. It's no big deal. People are coming here from all over the world. Just actually was uh, drinking tequila last night with some some French ladies from uh, from France. So lots of people from all over the world. And trust me, the the, the French they wouldn't be here if they were scared. It's a long way to fly, just to be scared and waste money. So relax. Come to Cancun if you want, but don't worry about the hype. Okay? That's my story. And. Uh, it's time for me to go. I gotta get something to eat. Okay, in the meantime, folks, stay safe, keep your wheels to go. I'll talk to you soon. Over and over.